I think we're at a pivotal point in our industry's history. I think, again, as people already showed they have instincts for, I think what has happened, look, it's simple, true or false, are there more stage hypnotists in the business than ever, yes or no? Yes. Right? And I, was, I didn't get my degree in economics, but for a while I was a business major in college and I took economics, and I'm not gonna, I don't want you to think I'm saying I'm an expert, but I do remember clearly, right? If demand stays about the same and supply just keeps going up and up and up, what happens to prices? They settle down, right? The market adjusts downward. And I really think we have two possible scenarios that we're looking at sooner rather than later. I think worst case scenario, we're in a bubble situation where more and more and more people are getting into the business and that bubble's gonna collapse and a bunch of people are gonna have to leave. That's your worst case scenario. So if that, if I'm, I don't wanna be right about that, but I'm, I'm usually at least thoughtful. I may not be the smartest person in the room, but I'm a pretty thoughtful person. And if that's true, my question to you is, how do you spend this weekend figuring out how to not be one of the people that gets weeded out if it goes? That's, that's your duty to yourself for your own sake. And then the other situation is, okay, Paul, maybe it's not a bubble. Maybe it's just a changing market. And what's going to happen is we're going to become like DJs and magicians and other you know, entertainers who've had this happen where the supply just expands and the pricing all comes down and we all have to learn how to do something about that. And either you're gonna, so then you think about like classic bell curve stuff. What got me out of business school is I failed business statistics, but I remember this part. <laughs> so it's traditional bell curve, right? You get all your people on the low end who aren't doing so great. They're either not getting enough bookings or they're not getting enough price and they're really struggling. You get most of your people fall in the middle of the bell curve, right? Doing okay, doing okay to pretty okay, you know, either on bookings or price. And then you've got your, your top end of your bell curve, your top outliers who are killing it and crushing it. Either they're getting a ton of business at a lesser price or they've positioned themselves to get really great price and they can get by with less bookings because they're getting really great price. So maybe that's what's gonna happen, you know? Maybe that's what's, Quite frankly, I think that is happening already. What you see in our industry is there is now a glut of stage hypnotists out there who are, their only way which they can really be competitive is on price, right? And you, you, you may have noticed this, maybe you haven't. I've noticed it. And so my question to you then for your sake is, so what do you do about that? How do you stand out in a crowded marketplace? Luckily for